Hi Tari friends, in this video I would like to show you another Android hack that I did. This is a, an Android media player gamepad that you can buy online. It comes with the Android operating system in it. And the same way I did with the Atari to go project that I modified the Android media player same way you can modif modify the Android gamepad to boot directly into the Colleen emulator. So as soon as the uh, system will finish booting, it will go directly to the Colleen emulator and will uh, run directly the Atari 800XL emulator. The gamepad also have here a micro SD slot where you can store all the ATR file you would like to run. So just copy the ATR files into the micro SD, put it inside the slot, and you can uh, run it directly uh, from the Colleen emulator. So as soon as the emulator, as soon as the Android gamepad finish booting, it will boot directly into the Colleen emulator. And you can go in and select the file that you would like to load. The left buttons here, left, up, down, and right, are the joystick navigations that you can move in during the game. The right buttons on uh, here are being configured to be the fire button, the trigger button on the joysticks. So if I would like to load a file, I simply will push the top right corner of the screen it will open into a folder navigation menu when I can push in and browse the files I've stored inside the uh, micro SD so right now it's uh, opening the directory and I can just navigate and select a game out of the games on this list Let's see which game I have here. Mm, let's try. I can run DOS 2.5 or uh, select an old game here called Clowns and Balloons. Push the trigger button to select and boot the file or boot the ATR. And the top, you, you also have the start buttons. If I will just click a second, so the trigger, eh, trigger is okay. Just move left and right, and you can play the game. Oh. Let's try another game. Something that I may be better at. Let's try. Mm. You can try Donkey Kong, Frogger. See what else copied here. You can try Ghostbusters. Can't remember if I know how to play that game. Uh, we can cry. Yeah, let's try this one. Okay, it's been a while since I played that game. I think it should stand up and then you can run. 
Yeah. No? Forget how you run. Well, let's try another game. You can do also programming. You can uh, open the virtual keyboard. And you can just use the touch screen to type letters. Mm, I got Turbo Basic, Star Wars, Spy vs. Spy, Zbex. Mule, let's run Mule. I can play Mule. Of course, only with one player. So you can. You can operate the keyboard here if you would like to use basic here and just type text anything throughout the game or you can also open let's go back uh, let's go back there is a way to punch here the top button and you can just open the start select forgot how to do that Anyway, that's the um, the Android Media Player where you can uh, go in and just uh, load your ATRs and just take it on on your road when you travel, when you have a long time to travel and just want to have something handy that you can go in and play with the Atari files. And that's all for now. You can have you can install more emulators on the Android. A gamepad, you can install an Atari ST emulator, 2600 emulator, uh, like I have one, like I already did on, on this device. So you can have various of emulators that can run different files. That's it. That's all for now for this uh, short video. Thank you for watching.